This is part of a series of tutorials to explain how to use the LibreTime radio station automation system. In this particular video, I'll explain how a DJ can upload tracks and schedule them for future playback by LibreTime. As a DJ using LibreTime, your primary responsibility is to populate the schedule for the shows you have been given permission to. Schedule. You should be provided a login and password by your admin and a website address. So we're going to go to this website address and we're going to log in. So this is a development copy, so we're just going to go to localhost. Okay, so now we're going to log in with the DJ login, password. All right, so LibreTime is primarily designed to facilitate pre-recorded shows. If you want to broadcast live using your time slot, we can do that, but there's another video following this that explains how to do that. So LibreTime works with a library of uploaded tracks. The supported tracks are MP3, AAC, WAVE, and OGG. If you don't have any local copies of music you want to play, you'll either need to digitize, download, or stream your shows live and play back the files. In addition, you might have a compilation of your show as a single audio file, such as MP3 exported from Audacity. Look in the links to this description for a tutorial on how to use Audacity. For the purpose of this, we'll consider that you have multiple MP3 music files that you want to upload and add to your show located on your computer already. So as a DJ, you can add to the tracks by clicking the blue upload button here. And this opens up an upload window. So this window will allow you to upload by either clicking here to browse your computer and you can see have a number of different music tracks and you can select them and then click open and it will start uploading them. In addition you can open the files directly on your operating system And so I'm going to pull some video, some audio songs from in here. Okay, we're going to upload a Tegan and Sarah album. And we're just going to take it and we're going to drag it. And it didn't work. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now you can see that they're uploading. And over on the right, you'll see there's a point where they're pending import, and then they're successfully imported. So while you're uploading stuff, if you try to move off before this upload finishes, it's going to prompt a window and tell you to, that you want to wait. Since uh, I'm using this uploading it to the local computer, that wasn't a problem. Okay, so now we have uploaded a bunch of these tracks. And so we actually want to go and see how we're going to schedule them. So we're going to click on the dashboard and this is one way of scheduling them. And so if you're coming, coming up in the next couple hours we have a DJ tutorial show created so we can just see that we could drag tracks directly into there. Now I don't see any of the tracks that I just uploaded so I'm going to click uploaded to make them sorted by uploaded and the first time you click it it'll be sorting by the oldest files and click it again and now I see all the tracks I just uploaded it sorts tracks by the last time the, the newest tracks first and so we're just going to take the track and drag it over to the right and so you can also limit the tracks to only show tracks that you created by going up here and typing in your username. For the purposes of this tutorial, the username is DJ. And that will hide any tracks that were uploaded by somebody else. Okay, so now, in addition, you might not see your show here. So there's basically, this only shows the next couple of hours. So one thing you can do is you can expand it and make the time later. This is not a fully populated instance, but say let's just see the next three days worth of shows. All right, and there it shows a number of different shows. You can also do filter by my shows, and that'll show all of the shows that you as a DJ have been assigned to, to be able to schedule. 
Okay, so now we're going to another way you can do it is you can you can drag them over, or you can do this. You can check mark them and click add to next show. And the amount of scheduling time is displayed on the bottom. So this means that we've scheduled attempted to schedule oh two extra hours of music. So we're going to, we don't really, it just won't actually cause a problem in Libre time because it will just cut it off somewhere in the track that's marked orange. But that might not be ideal and that might not be what you intended. So one thing you can do is you can click trim over book shows and that will delete all the tracks that were never going to get played, period. Now you also might not want to have, you know, the last 10 seconds of this will be cut off. So, you could rearrange your tracks, you could attempt to find a show, let's just delete this, let's see if there's possible, it's not likely, but maybe I have a song that's only 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Well this one, right here, is 3 minutes and 10 seconds. So we only have 5 seconds of dead air at the end. In your instance you might have some filler tracks or things that are used to buffer station IDs, whatnot, that will prevent that from having dead air. So also, say you can go in here and you can remove certain ones. You click it, click remove, and that will not delete it from the system. If you delete it, if you click it and delete it over here, it will. But if you just delete it from the right, their schedule shows it will just remove it from the schedule. So now we have six minutes and forty seconds. So now we have two minutes and twenty nine seconds. No, we don't really have anything in there. We're going to leave it at a little bit of other, you know, issues with that. So, let me see if there's anything else that we wanted to cover in here. You can also, let's just show you how you can navigate the schedule. So we've done here, the other way that you can do this is through the calendar. The calendar, by default, will show the whole month. You can make it show just this week. And so here we go on Saturday. We have the DJ tutorial show. And if you see that yellow, that means it's not completely filled with content. So we can go on there and we can click schedule tracks. And so we can go in here and it's the same interface that you just had except for it's some of it's slightly different. It doesn't allow you to limit to owner, but in general you can also so we can see tracks uploaded by other people. See, so there was ones that previously you couldn't see because admin had them uploaded them. And so now we actually are able to complete it. And there we have perfectly scheduled down to zero. You can go here and you can see no longer an issue. No marks. Okay, and then this will actually start playing automatically at 8 o'clock because we currently have it set to UTC time. So basically, that's the end of the tutorial on how to schedule tracks for your show using LibreTime. If you have any questions, you can comment below or post on the LibreTime Discourse Forum. Link's also in the description. In the next tutorial, I will explain the basics of broadcasting your show live.